Welcome to lesson one in this 13 part tutorial looking at how to create a fully working Pac-Man game using Scratch. Now the first thing we'll need to do is to create the Scratch character of Pac-Man. To begin with we have this Scratch cat which isn't appropriate so we're going to get rid of that sprite completely by clicking the little bin and then at the bottom here hovering over the choose a sprite button and clicking on the paintbrush. This opens up this drawing screen where we can now draw our own character. Now I'm going to create a traditional Pac-Man character but of course for your game it's up to you what you create. You can go along with a traditional Pac-Man game and change the sprites later on or develop your own characters now. That's entirely up to you but this is how I'm going to create my Pac-Man character. To begin with I'm going to make sure that I'm in vector drawing. Now I can tell I'm in vector drawing because I have this button at the bottom that says convert to bitmap. So that means it's already vector but if I wanted to I could convert to bitmap. Now if yours at the bottom says convert to vector then click on that button so that you are in vector. So you should have this button at the bottom that says convert to bitmap. Now if we zoom in using these buttons in the middle you'll see that in the middle of this grid there is a little target, a little plus sign and that'll be important because when we create sprites in Scratch they need to have the center point of the sprite, the middle part of the character in this center dot here. Uh, that's important especially when we're looking at detecting later on whether a character has hit a wall or hit another character like a ghost. So to begin with let's click on the circle tool here and then at the top going to choose the color and the outline. Now I don't want an outline color so this button at the bottom left with the red diagonal line through it if you select that as I have already got here that means no outside line. Of course if you want an outside line then simply choose a color from here and choose how much of that color you want and the brightness and so forth and you'll have that outline color but if you don't want an outline then simply click on this line here. So once we've done that the next thing is to choose the fill color. So I'm going to click on the fill color here and I'm going to go for a traditional Pac-Man yellow something like that. So you choose the hue or the color in this top section. The saturation is how much of that color. It's pale on the left and a solid color on the right. I'm going to go for a pretty solid color there and also you've got the brightness at the bottom here. I'm going to keep that brightness nice and high. So I've chosen my character color there. The next thing to do is to uh, draw the circle. Now to begin with it doesn't matter whether you draw that circle over the center point just start anywhere for the moment but you'll notice as you start to draw that it's not easy to get a perfect circle. You can sort of roughly do it by eye but that's not necessarily perfect and it's easy to see how that can transform into almost any kind of weird shape there. If you want it to be a perfect circle simply hold the shift key down on your keyboard and that will snap it to a perfect circle. No matter where you move the mouse it will be a perfect circle. Now it doesn't matter too much what size you choose for your character. Reasonably big is fine but we can always resize sprites in the game itself. So there we are I've drawn my circle and I'm just going to move that and you'll see that as I click and drag uh, this circle I can see that little center target in the middle here. So this center target that looks quite faint at the moment becomes quite dark when I move this over it. And what I want to do is to get the center cross of this circle lined up with the center target. And in fact Scratch helps us with this because as I start to move it close it snaps into position. So it kind of clicks into position so it's exactly in the center and then I can let go. So that's the first part of creating this Scratch character. Uh, this is Pac-Man with his mouth closed. So at the top here where we've got the uh, word costume 
and currently it says costume one, I'm going to change that to Pac-Man closed. Now a character or sprite in a game can have multiple costumes and a costume is just simply a way the character looks. It could be perhaps a pose. If they were walking or running or jumping, they may have a different position or posture. And it could be uh, that they have different colors, perhaps uh, like the ghosts in Pac-Man might turn blue when Pac-Man eats one of the super pills and turns the ghosts all blue. Uh, or your character could perhaps go red color when it gets angry or dies or whatever. And these are just simply appearances, the way that characters look different. So what I'm gonna do now is to make a copy, first of all, of this costume here on the left. This column on the left-hand side is a list of all the different appearances or the ways that Pac-Man could look. And if I right click on this top one and choose duplicate, I get, I get two of those costumes. Now, of course, they're both the same at the moment, but we're going to change this bottom one. First of all, let's change the name because this one is going to be Pac-Man open. And we're going to have Pac-Man's mouth open in this one. So how do we do that? Well, it's a two step process here. First of all, we have to draw a shape that's gonna overlap the circle that will look like that triangular wedge cut into him. Then we're gonna to have to convert this to a bitmap and then take away that shape, leaving only the yellow area. So let's start by changing the fill color here to something completely different. It doesn't matter what color you choose for this as long as it's completely different from the color that you've got the original character, the yellow in this case. Then I'm going to click on the rectangle and draw out a rectangle or a square, something like that. Now I'm going to move this onto the right hand side and then at the bottom you'll see I've got this little curved arrow and I'm going to drag that so that we've turned the square into a sort of diamond. So these two corners here are roughly in line with each other. And then what I'm looking for is the bit of the blue square here that overlaps the Pac-Man character. In your mind, try not to see the blue square and just see the yellow Pac-Man character. And if you can do that, you can see that what we've got, if we were to be able to take away the blue square, would be the Pac-Man open mouth. Now, we can't actually take away the blue square uh, from the yellow circle in vector mode. So for this one, what we're going to have to do is to click on this button at the bottom that says convert to bitmap. So I'm gonna click on that and you won't see much of a difference, but if you look really closely, you can see the edges of the lines are just a little less sharp, but that doesn't matter because of course we're looking at the character really zoomed in at the moment and uh, in the actual game, these characters will be much, much smaller and you won't see that fuzzy edge. So what we can do now is click on this fill bucket here on the left hand side and then we're going to change the fill color to no fill. So we're going to click this button at the bottom with the red slash through it. So that means that whatever we click on now will be filled with nothing. And that's exactly what we want to do to this blue square. So if I click on this blue square, we fill the blue square with nothing. And that takes away the edge that was overlapping the mouth. So now you can see that we have the Pac-Man characters. And if you look on the right hand side here, it's a little bit easier um, to see how this sprite here is looking. Uh, and if I click between these two, you can see that it does look a little bit like the Pac-Man character opening and closing his mouth. And so there we are. We have created our Pac-Man character. Now the next thing to do is probably the code. So at the top here, I'm gonna click on the code tab to take us back to the uh, first screen that you saw when you created the game.
Now having made your first part to the game, it's going to be really important to make sure you save your game. With Scratch, you can log in uh, to the website, and if you haven't got an account, you can sign up for one for free at the top right corner. You'll see I'm already signed in to Scratch. The benefit of that is that your games can be saved online so that if you are moving from one computer to another, uh, you can simply access your games no matter where. It also makes it a bit easier to make sure your games are regularly saved. So at the top, you can see I have this little link that says save now, and I can click on that and that's now saved. It's saved online. However, the name of it is over here and you'll see mine is called Untitled 18, which isn't a very good name. So I'm going to call this Pac-Man Game Tutorial. There we go. So I've now named it and that's the version of the game that I will see in my list. If you were to click on your name on the right hand side, you'll have this My Stuff folder. And that's where all of your games that you've made and saved on your online account will be stored. So now we've created our Pac-Man character, the next thing to do is to animate the character so his mouth automatically opens and closes all the while the game is running. 